Production giant Juno have consistently shown how well they know their subject when it comes to producing a mid-50 footer, and the Philip Brion design Juno 57 is a good example. This is a model that's proved itself to be as suitable for coastal cruising as it is easy to set up as a blue water liverboard. And this is an example of a boat set up very much to head over the horizon. Launched in 2010, she was configured by her owner as a blue water shorthanded cruiser, but has not yet been used in this role. So not only is she very well equipped, but she's also in very good condition. Fitted with davits and two passerelles, one of which is carbon, it's clear from the start that this boat has been geared towards long distance cruising. She's fitted with two life rafts and has a 15 horsepower Honda outboard for the tender. All the instrumentation above and below decks is Garmin. The Juno 57s were fitted with the twin wheel configuration as standard, a layout that has proved itself across a wide range of cruisers for its ease of use and for the way in which the cockpit is made more secure and easier to operate. All the winches are Harkin electric and this boat is fitted with a bow thruster. The spacious cockpit and generous table with an integral fridge is just one of several clues that this is a boat that has been designed with outdoor living in mind. The Spray Dodger and Bimini were both replaced in 2020. The Bimini also includes side panels to completely enclose the cockpit area, perfect for liverboards and long trips. The sail plan is fully furling, with Selden furling units for both the Genoa and Staysail. She's also equipped with twin poles to allow her to be sailed downwind wing on wing. She also has a bowsprit for the asymmetric Jenica. On the bow is a Danforth anchor and 100 metres of chain, which was replaced in 2019, and can be operated either from the foredeck or from the cockpit. The teak deck has been well looked after and is in good condition throughout. Below decks, she's a three-cabin version. One of the reasons that the 57 has been so successful as a long-distance cruiser is that she has plenty of worktop space and volume throughout. The saloon is a good example as both a spacious yet secure area to move about in underway. The galley is another, with plenty of stowage as well as the double access for the fridge freezer along with a second freezer. In keeping with the rest of the boat, the galley is in very good condition. She's also equipped with a water maker that produces 100 litres an hour. The aft cabins are mirrored port and starboard, each with their own heads. This owner has chosen to configure the port cabin primarily for stowage, although it can still be used for sleeping. The starboard equivalent has been set up for passage making with the clever and convenient addition of an autopilot control. The chart table and navigation station provides ample space and has a 6 kilo washing machine installed under the seat. The owner's double is forwardmost in the boat, a spacious and quiet cabin, especially when moored stern to the dock. When it comes to power, she's well catered for, with four solar panels that were fitted in 2018, mounted on the arch over the cockpit. She also comes with a Watt & Sea hydro generator, while below decks there's an Onan 11 kVA generator. Under the companionway steps, she's fitted with a 140 horsepower diesel, which has recently been serviced. She has 12 gel service batteries that were replaced in 2020. This is a great example of a Juno 57 that is not only well equipped, but is rigged and ready to head over the horizon. She's available immediately and you can find out more about her specification in the description below as well as by following the links on screen. And of course you can speak to the broker directly.